Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. You've asked for a tutorial vid on to how to add a mission specific and or just bespoke kneeboard pages into the kneeboard in a certain aircraft or just globally into DCS. So that's what we're going to show today. Thank you for slide for showing me how to do this. Um, so we're going to show first of all how to make bespoke kneeboard pages and put them into general DCS so they can be used from any mission uh, whatever you do in DCS and then we're going to show how to put a bespoke uh, kneeboard page into a specific mission and the important thing about that is if you want if it's a multiplayer mission then for instance then everyone who receives that mission file will receive that kneeboard page so that's a mission specific thing uh, and then we're going to look up uh, somewhere where you, you can download uh, uh, certain uh, pages Okay, so let's get on with it. The first thing we do, we need to do is get a template. So we're going to go to the drive where our DCS is actually installed under. I'm going to go to DCS World. I'm going to go to Mods and Terrains. And I'm going to choose Caucasus. Just going to stick to the Caucasus. And Nearboard. And we're going to grab any of these, it doesn't matter which, we'll just grab that one there. All we're doing here is getting ourselves a template. So it's got a, a picture file and it's the right size, the right ratio, everything set up for us, okay? Then we're going to again put it um, in our uh, saved games area. Everyone will have this, it will usually be on your C drive. So C drive, users, your particular username, saved games, DCS. Now you need to make a, a folder called kneeboard spelt like that assuming you don't already have one uh, you may already have it if uh, you have certain aircraft so make it if it's not there and we go into it now if we want to add our specific kneeboard page here so it is available to all aircraft then we just put it in this root folder here if we wanted to put it into just a particular type of aircraft, then we would create a new subfolder called the name of the aircraft. In this case, we've done a MiG-15 here. Well, I haven't done it. The MiG-15 just comes with this. And you'd put it in there. Okay. And just to quickly show you um, the different name syntaxes, how you have to spell the different names, those are the ones I've got here in, um, in livery. So that's how you have to spell the names. Okay. We're going to head back back to kneeboard so we put it in the root here so this is going to appear for all aircraft i'm going to just call it cap call it whatever you want um, it orders them in alphabetical order and it orders them from ed uh, uh, normal ones first and then any bespoke ones we think like we're making here will go on the end uh, in terms of the order then bring up whatever you want to edit this with i'm not a image editor as you're fully aware so i'm going to use paint because that's the limit of my ability. And what we don't want to do is change the size or the ratio of it. Leave it exactly the same size. If you start messing around with the size, it will all get squeezed up and it will all go wrong. Okay, um, I am going to uh, just modify this to personalize it. And I'm going to call it caps uh, knee board. There you go. That's a picture. It's now a picture. I'm going to save that. And out of interest, what kind of file is it? It's a... Uh, PNG file okay that's it that's done that's in there next we're going to load up DCS and show that it's now available to all aircraft in any scenario on our computer only remember this is not going to go to anyone else's computer this is just ours so let's load that up okay we're going to go to mission editor again make a new mission in the Caucasus going to add an aeroplane add it there flying there make it client and that's it we're done we're going to save that as uh, that's a good name that's already suggested. Kneeboard test.miz. Okay, save. And we're going to fly it in that aircraft. And let's have a quick look at today's controls. So, to bring up the kneeboard is this command here. For me, it's right shifting K. To change the kneeboard pages, we've got kneeboard page previous and kneeboard, and kneeboard next page. Uh, note that your keyboard controls uh, binds will be different to mine I've had to set mine up specially uh, in this particular aircraft so just take a note go in here and you can find out uh, what your particular binds are okay so kneeboard up and then we can cycle through the different pages um, mine will be at the end our new one so what we can actually do is go backwards previous uh, back to the first one and then go previous and there is our caps kneeboard page and that is our one we've done Okay, so that's that. So next we want to put in a mission-specific one. 
uh, so that everyone who has this mission gets this particular enable page. Uh, so we can just save it, exit, exit. Okay, so let's create a new kneeboard file. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that there. This one's going to be called cap2. And we're going to edit the image just so it's different. And let's just call that um, mission specific. So this is going to appear. Uh, this is going to be attached to the mission in this case. And anyone that um, downloads that mission will get this, including anyone on multiplayer. So we are going to now, uh, I'm, going to, I'm not going to copy that yet. I'm going to go into our save games, DCS. We are going to go to missions. I've got my 1600 missions here. We've got kneeboard test.miz there. And we need to bring that up in a compression file editor. I'm, I'm going to go open with. Um, you can use whatever you want, WinZip, 7zip, whatever. I'm going to use WinRAR because I'm used to it. Okay. And in the root directory of this uh, MIS file, we want to add, and this is the key bit, it has to be a folder, create new folder, and this has a habit of changing. Um, so you're gonna have to keep up to date with this. But at the moment of today making this, May 2019, you have to type kneeboard, and it has to be in capitals, spelled correctly, kneeboard. Inside kneeboard, you have to have a file, a uh, folder called images, and it has to be in capitals like that. Inside there, we're going to uh, go back to our kneeboard folder. We're going to copy the mission specific file in there. Yes, please. Okay, that's in there. Just test it works. It is out of there. I'm going to delete it from the kneeboard folder here. So it's now attached to that mission only. It's not. Uh, it's only available in that mission. Okay. Load up, load up DCS again. So you can make the um, you can make them specific. You just need to in the capital kneeboard folder. You just need to make your specific aircraft folders, and then make another folder inside with capital images. So you you basically end up with a bunch of um, like the liveries folder. You got your bunch of you got uh, an images. So you have got kneeboard, then you have got images. And then you've, and, um, that's your global folder. Mm -hmm. And then you can have all your aircraft names. And inside those ones, you would put another folder called Capital Capital oh, Images. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you can make specific ones. You just have mm -hmm. to have this weird format now right. of having the Capital Images. Right. So if I wanted one for the Tomcat in my mission, I would have, in my MIS file, I would have Capital Kneeboard. And then in that Capital Images. And then in that, F14, whatever the F14 syntax is, and ne then... Neg, neg. So um, you'd have capital kneeboard, mm -hmm. and you'd have capital images. Mm -hmm. That now that that combination is now your global folder. Okay. In but if you wanted a specific one for the Tomcat, you would do capital kneeboard, mm -hmm. and then you would uh, do F14, yeah. Yeah. and then you would do Im uh, capital images, and then put in there, and that would be individual for the F14. Do we know why that's been changed to that? Because that's weird. Zero idea. Okay. So be it. Let's open up our file of our newly edited uh, kneeboard. And uh, let's run it. Start. I think with a lot of things, they, they change one thing and realize afterwards Everything that that's change. broken something else. Yeah, I guess. It's the nature of modern on-the-fly programming, I suppose. So we're on here, we're gonna get our kneeboard. Uh, we're gonna go previous, we've got caps knee, caps kneeboard mission specific, and the normal caps kneeboard global. Right, so that's lovely. So I'm gonna quit DCS now. The last thing we've got to show, Sly, is where we get pre-made ones done, is that right? That's right, yeah, so you can grab uh, pre-made ones. So I'm gonna go DCS, hopefully it goes no, because it's retail. There it is. Okay, uh, so we're in DCS. So we're going to go downloads and user files, and then we're going to change the filter to file type and document, and then press the filter. Unfortunately, they don't have like a Nebel category, so this is all the documents. But if you scroll down, the second one on the list for me is an F14, uh, uh, sorry, an F18. Hornet fusing an armament quick look kneeboard. You see, it's got kneeboard in the title. So, an F 18 Hornet fusing an armament quick look knee, good lord, kneeboard. Uh, so, I what is this file going to be? This is the image file, isn't it? 
Yeah, so it's basically just an image file. It's going to be a PNG file. You mm -hmm. download it and you drop it in uh, the directories just as we were. As we were before. And I guess you can rename it if you want, but I guess you wouldn't want to. Just leave it as whatever it's called. Hey, fam. Uh, great. Anything else you want to show Sly? Um, yeah, just a shameless plug. So if you pop my, uh, if you reset the um, the filter there, put the reset button and do upload by and put my name in there and hit filter, you'll see all the things. What's your name on here? So I say. Like that. Filter. And you get Sly's whatever, a front seat quick startup for the F14B, Sly's Eastern. Oh, that's useful. Oh, look up with the useful stuff. Since when have you been doing this? Yeah, I've been doing it a little while, just trying to get the uh, the GR guys uh, some more, inf more yeah. informative stuff. Yeah, we're going to start doing these on missions, uh, on missions, on our bigger missions, but one thing at a time. All right, thanks for that, Sly. I hope that was useful, and see you guys later.